Hi guys, so this is a video about simultaneous equations, how to solve them. So the first thing I want you to look at is this. If I had something like 5x and minus 5x, 5x minus 5x, they basically cancel each other out, so that equals zero. Our first step to solving simultaneous equations in a minute is to get something like this, or uh, it doesn't have to be like that, but It could be minus 3y and 3y. So minus 3y plus 3y, they would cancel out. They would equal 0. Or uh, if I had 4x and minus 4x, they would cancel out and they'd be 0. So just look at what I'm trying to get here. I'm trying to get the same number in front of either x or y, and I want one of them to be minus. So that's what I'm trying to get here as my first step now you you won't it won't it won't really be clear what why we're doing it yet but just i want you to just to practice that because you'll find the first step a little bit easier in a minute so if i was to say take maybe uh 3x and then i had a minus 6x here i want you to think about what would you have to do to one of them to make it like those ones that i've just shown you so what could i multiply now in this case what could i multiply the top one here by what could I multiply that 3x in order to get a minus and a positive and the same number in front of the x well hopefully you're, you're able to see that you multiply it by 2 so if I multiply that 3x by 2 then you would get 6x and minus 6x uh, and then you'd be able to cancel them out like that so uh, or if I had uh, minus y and 5y what would i have to multiply one of them by to get something like that so hopefully you can see that you'd multiply the top one by five because remember minus minus y and minus one y are the same thing so if i multiplied the top one there by five i'd get five y on top and minus sorry i get minus five y on top and i just get five y on the bottom so the bottom wouldn't change i'll just do one more quick one so if i had I'll just do a little one a little bit more complicated. If I had 2x and 3x, all right? A little bit harder now. What you'd actually have to do is you'd have to do, do things to both of them. I mean, there's nothing you could multiply uh, the top by that would make it equal to the bottom. Now, yeah, technically you could multiply it by 1.5, but we don't want to be using decimals in this or fractions. So what I could do here is I could multiply the bottom one by 2, and then I could multiply the top one. I'd have to multiply by a minus to change the sign. Because see the way both of these are positive? So if I multiply the top by minus 3. Then I would get a, I would get where I the top would be minus 6x. And the bottom would be 6x. So I just want you to practice that really quickly. And then we'll actually add simultaneous equations in a minute, but we just get to, it'll make things a little bit easier after. So look at the first one here. I want you to think about what are you multiplying? Well, here you'll be multiplying the bottom one by something. So uh, what could you multiply the bottom by to make it like that, where you get a, a positive and a minus, and then uh, the same, either you get a y on both, on both of them. So if you want to just try all nine of those for a minute, or just have a look and have a think about them and then play on the video and I'll, uh, I'll go through the answers. So the first one here, I hope you can see that you just multiply it by 3 and then you'd get 3y on top and you get minus 3y on the bottom. The second one here, b, now, see, because they're both positive here, positive 4x and positive 2x, you'd have to multiply one of them by a minus. So you'd, if you multiply the bottom there by minus 2, you'd get 4x on top and you'd get minus 4x on the bottom. And that's what we want, so that's, that's good. The third one, now they both have the same signs again, so I'd have to multiply one of them by a minus. So I multiply the top by minus 5, I'd get minus 5y on top and 5y on the bottom d i could multiply the top by minus 2 
so I get minus 6x on top and 6x on the bottom. E, I'd have to multiply the top by minus 2 because uh, both of them are positive again, so I'd get minus 4x on top. And I just, oh sorry, they're both their y's here, so, so minus 4y on top and 4y on the bottom. The next one, I'd actually have to do things to, I think I did one like this a minute ago. You'd actually have to do things to both of them, so you'd have to multiply the bottom one by 2 and the top one by minus 3. And then you'd get minus 6x on top and you'd get 6x on the bottom. The next one, one of them is plus and one of them is minus already. But I've got a 4 and a 3, so what you could do is you could multiply the bottom one by uh, 4. And multiply the top one by 3 and then you'd get 12y on top and minus 12y on the bottom. Uh, the next one, I, all I have to do is multiply the bottom one by 3, so I get 6x and minus 6x. And then the last one, uh, probably the most difficult one, but you'd have to multiply the top one by 2 and the bottom one by minus 7. Now, or you could multiply the top by minus 2 and the bottom one by positive 7, so then you'd get then the top one would be minus and the bottom one would be negative. Sorry, the top one would be negative and the bottom one would be minus. But if you do it this way, you get 14y and minus 14y. So they cancel out. So that's just a bit of practice doing that. Hopefully you understand that. Let's look at actual simultaneous equations then. So this is really is the, t the, main, the main topic then. Uh, so have a look at the first example, we'll call this example 1. So what you've got here is you've got 2x plus 5y equals 29 and 4x minus 2y equals 22. So you've got two variables now that you need to work out. You need to work out x and you need to work out y. So basically first of all anyway, if only that equation on top, if they told you what that, that equation but they didn't give you a second equation there wouldn't actually be any way of working out what x and y are for sure because there could be different combinations of what x and y could be but because we have two equations we can do them a little bit like this first step anyway is to make either the x term or the y term the same with opposite signs in both equations so uh, should be an s there for equ with equations uh, Basically, we've practiced the first step already, so you'll see in a second here. Uh, then change the signs of, of the bottom equation and take one away from the other. So solve to find one of the variables, sub back in to find the other variable. Uh, what I want you to look at here is you can change either the x's or the y's. So if I was to change the x's here, uh, I'm just putting a box around them like that. Now all we have to do is we have to do the same step as we've just practiced doing. So if I was to make uh, the x's the same where one of them is minus, what I could do is I could multiply the top one by minus 2. If I multiply the top equation there by minus 2, uh, it'll make the top x into a minus 4x. Uh, I always put a line underneath as well. Then because I'm multiplying by minus 2, I, I get minus 4x there. But now I must multiply the rest of the equation by minus 2 as well. I can't just multiply the x. So 5y multiplied by minus 2x would be minus 10y. And 29 multiplied by minus 2 would be minus 58. The bottom equation then, I haven't multiplied it by anything. So the whole bottom equation stays, it just stays the same. So 4x minus 2y equals 22. Now, so what happens here is, because I've got f minus 4x and 4x, the f they both cancel out. So they would just cancel out as 0 if you think about it. So they're basically just gone. Uh, then I'm going to add together these two, the minus 10y and the minus 2y, so minus 10y plus minus 2y would be minus 12y equals, and then I add these two together, so minus 58 plus 22 
would be uh, 36, so minus 36. Then because I know that minus 12y equals minus, minus 36, I just need to divide by minus 12 here. And it works out what y is, so y equals, uh, divide minus by minus, so y would equal 3. So y equals 3 there, I've worked out what y is. The next step is to sub back in. So I'm going to take one of the equations from the question, and you can actually take the top equation, or you can take the bottom equation. It doesn't matter which one you take, but I'll just take the first equation here, and I'll just write it out. So 2x plus 5y equals 29. So I'm just writing, rewriting the top equation again. Uh, then, because I found out in the first part that y equals 3, I'm going to sub back in. So I'm going to get 2x plus 5 multiplied by 3. I'm putting a 3 in instead of the y equals 29. So 2x plus, and I can do 5 times 3 is 15, equals 29. Then I'm just trying to find x, so I subtract 15. So 2x equals 29 minus 15 is 14. Then divide by 2, x equals 7. So that's that question finished. I found out that x equals 7 and y equals 3. I'm going to do another example. So we'll call this example two. Now, f look again, so I'm gonna change the x's this time again. Um, no, I won't actually, I'll change the y's just to show you. So uh, I could, it would actually be easier to change the x's here, to change them like I did in the first one and just do it, and you can do it that way if you want, if you wanna go try to do it that way. But I'm gonna change the y's here just to show you an example of where you would change the y's. So if I was to change the y's into what I want, I could multiply, um, yes, yeah, so it would be no easier way. So I have to multiply the bottom by 8, and I can multiply the top by minus 3. And watch what happens then. So on the top, uh, I'm going to get, you must multiply the whole, equa the whole top equation by minus 3. So I'm going to get minus 6x minus 24y equals... Uh, minus 129. The bottom equation then, if I multiply everything by 8, positive 8, I get 8x plus 8 times 3 is 24, so 24y equals uh, 8 18s. So that's 144. So now the y's will cancel this time. So I get minus 24y plus 24y. So I can cancel those out. Add these two then. So minus, eight, minus 6x plus 8x would be positive 2x equals. And then minus 129 plus 144 would be 15. So then I divide by 2, divide by 2. So x would equal, uh, it's going to be 7.5 then, so 7.5. So I'm actually getting a decimal for this one. So you won't get you won't get decimals when you're trying these, for, these ones for the first time. You should get whole numbers. But here I'm getting a decimal. So I'm going to rewrite out one of the equations again. So I'm just going to take the top one again. 2x plus 8y equals 43. So 2 multiplied by 7.5 plus 8y equals 43. 2 multiplied by 7.5 is 15, plus 8y equals 43. Uh, and then I'm trying to get y by itself, so if I subtract 15 from both sides, I'm going to get 8y equals uh, 28, and then I'm going to divide by 8, divide by 8. 
So uh, 28 divided by 8 is 3.5. So y equals 3.5. So that's my final answer there. Now, I got decimals there, but uh, when you're starting out and you do basic simultaneous equations, you, you shouldn't get decimals. So if you want to try this one then, so first thing you can do anyway is put a line underneath and then you're going to multiply so you can either change the x's so that you get them to cancel out or you can change the y's. For this one I'll give you a hint, it'd be easier to change the x's so remember x is the same thing as 1x as well. So just try and change that around and just see how far you get. So if you want to pause the video now, try it and uh, then play it on and I'll correct it for you. Right, so I'll run through this quickly then. So if I'm changing the x's, I can multiply the top by, because they're both positive, I can multiply the top by minus 3. So if I multiply that 1x by minus 3, I get minus 3x. I multiply, now just be careful here because I'm multiplying a minus 3 by a minus 2y. So minus multiply by minus becomes plus 6y, that might have caught you out, equals, and then minus 3 multiplied by 9 is minus 27. The bottom equation just stays the same, so 3x plus 7y equals 1. So my minus 3x and my 3x, they cancel out with 0. 6y plus 7y is uh, 13y equals and minus 27 plus 1 is minus 26. Then 13y, so y is being multiplied by 13, so I divide by 13. So y equals minus 2. So y equals minus 2 there. So I've worked out what y is. Now, the only job you have left is to work out what x is. So if I take the top equation again and just write it out, so x minus 2y equals 9. Now, I'm going to put a minus 2 in instead of the y. So x minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 equals 9. Uh, now, x minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 will be plus 4 because minus multiplied by minus gives you plus equals 9 and then x plus 4 equals 9 so I subtract 4 and I get x equals 9 minus 4 is 5. So x equals 5 there so I found x and y again.